Hello, this is Adam McCurdy with Xenos. Today I'm going to talk about the RM Monitor Zenpack, a Zenpack new with Resource Manager 6.0. This Zenpack provides monitoring support for the Resource Manager application itself and includes visualizations of the three main pipelines in Resource Manager, which are metric collection, event generation, and modeling. The way this pack works is actually pretty simple. Many of the Xenos daemons log internal metrics to the iServices OpenTSDB instance. A small subset of those metrics uh, are made available in the graphs you see in Control Center, but that's only really a slice of what's there. With the RM Monitor Zenpack, Resource Manager pulls those internal metrics from the iServices OpenTSDB instance and puts them into Resource Manager. Let's have a look. We've got a lab here in the Xenos RM device class. This gets added by default. It adds the localhost Xenos Resource Manager instance. And here we've got our pretty visualization. So I could see this my events pipeline. I've got events per second on our collectors all the way up through Zen Hub. Uh, here's where we start getting into RabbitMQ, uh, Zen Event D. And so basically, if we have any sort of RAID issues, we can see that along this pipeline. Then we've got the metrics pipeline. So this is your graph data. You can see your data point rate, if you've got anything queued in Redis, and how many metrics that metric shipper and metric consumer are, uh, are publishing. Then we see the modeling pipeline. We see how many devices per second uh, are being modeled, and then how many data maps are being applied in Zen Hub. The RM Monitor Zenpack also provides a handful of modeler plugins that give us all of these components over on the left. So let's have a look at these. So this instance only has one collector, so it's the localhost collector. And we can see kind of the typical graphs that you would see previously in Control Center. We could see an aggregate of our tasks. If we were missing runs, we would see them here. We can see information about our event rate, data point rate, things like that our internal event queues for the daemons. Then we have a breakout for each collector daemon, so we can see the same data but on a daemon by daemon basis. We have our durable queues, which is nice. This is We haven't had really good RabbitMQ monitoring in Xenos 5X, so with Xenos 6X and the RM monitors NPAC, now we can keep an eye on our rabbit queues. These should all be close to zero. This is a small test instance, so we shouldn't really be queuing messages. Um, we see some information about our rates and then actual messages in queue. So we have a metric consumer and metric shipper, and these are our performance data pipeline daemons that send messages upstream into OpenTSDB Writer. So we can see a writer and reader service here. The reader is for pulling information out of the graph database, kind of rendering graphs, and the writer is obviously for writing that data in. So we have our Redis instances, our Redises, if you will, um, and we could see information about each of these Redis instances, metric queue length, commands process, CPU utilization, memory, network, that sort of thing. Then we have our HBase region servers. We could see some metrics about these guys. These are the long-term data store for your all your graph data right so uh, all your RM graph data is is stored on these region servers so we could see if we've got slow operations we could see the request rates so solar is the replacement for Zen catalog service it's where we store our model catalog we could see information about the size of our index we could see the rate at which it's being queried and updated. Uh, we can see its memory utilization, you know, standard, standard sort of metrics. With uh, ZODB, we can see our, this is a particularly useful graph here, you can see the size of ZODB on disk. This will help you when you're tuning your MariaDB instance, so you can know what you should set your buffer pool size to, so you can operate as as close to in memory as you possibly can. We could see connections, we could see our cache, CPU, memory, network. We have metrics around several event pipeline daemons here. We have Zen Action D, we could see notifications, 
that are actually run. Then we could see our signals, which are the messages that SynActionD subscribes to, to know kind of when to do its work. Uh, you know, CPU, memory, that sort of thing. We could see in ZenimentD information about our event processing rate, and there's a ton of different metrics here about kind of what ZenimentD is doing, and then the, the typical CPU memory. We could see information about our event rate, um, our event indexes, we could see messages published, we could see queues, we can see um, a ton of different stuff about what Zen Event Server does. In our Zen Hubs, these are pretty normal. We could see the work list count, we could see the event rate, CPU, memory. We could see our modeler daemons. And this is another really interesting uh, graph addition that we have here. We could see, uh, not this one yet, this is the number of model devices. Uh, and we could see the modeling rate. But this is a really cool one modeling failures. So you can see how many times modeling has failed over time, which is pretty handy, I think. We have CPU, memory, normal stuff. We have information about our ZOPs. So ZOP is a, it's technically a ZOP, it's a special ZOP uh, for handling authentication tokens and things like that uh, for some internal communication. Then we have the six standard out-of-box ZOPs you know and love. We can see information about the threads, requests, memory. We have uh, API and reporting zopes, which are special dedicated zopes that operate kind of with special parameters specifically for API and reporting. So that concludes my overview of the RM Monitor Zen Pack. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get a chance to try out the RM Monitor Zen Pack for yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.